For the next part, we'll try to code the ninja's death. We'll make it so that if the ninja goes over the spikes too much, they die. So it has a current and max health, I'm pretty sure, because it got duplicated from the player BP. Okay, so now let's go to our content browser and open up our traps, spikes. Cool, let's up this damage value to say, actually no, 100's fine. So whenever some an actor with a tag alive overlaps with a spike, it takes damage. Let's see if ninja has tackled alive. They do actually. But will they die? Hmm. Let's keep making them run over the spikes. Let's see if, if the code follows through from the duplicate blueprint, because the duplicate is from player, theoretically. Yep. Oh, they're T-posing. That's scary. They, they are still following me. That is horrific. Um, and they're still damaging me. Okay. Yep, they're still following. Uh, this is this is scarier than the planned game. Okay. Okay. Yep, let's escape out of that. Let's up the spike damage by 20. So we don't have to run them through the spikes twice. So we take damage as well. Cool. T-posing. T-posing ninja. All right. So it seems that the death code did follow over because it was a duplicate from player zero, which has the almost the exact same code. Pretty much the exact same, yeah. Okay, I think it's T-posing because right now it's using Kachujin's death animation. We're going to point it to the death animation of the actual ninja itself. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, game, my assets, enemies, ninja animations. Let's use the animation sequence. And it should play the proper death animation now. Oh, okay, nope, I died. Yep. <laughs> Come here, please. So it's doing that same thing where it keeps applying the death animation. That's because each time it takes damage, it runs through this code here, this little check here to play animation. And a quick way to solve this is just disable actor collision. Or maybe just just a do once. Yeah, maybe a do once. So we'll only do this once. And since we don't plug anything into the reset, this piece of code will never reapply ever again unless we apply something to the reset of the ninja blueprint. So let's see how that works out. Follow me, please. Ninjas. Die. Hmm, that's strange. Oh, that ninja only died once, but the other ninja died twice. And they're like chasing me while dead. Ah, it's because it's still trying to do a bunch of animations from the kick. And it's kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, he looks like he's being puppeted. Okay, that's kind of hilarious, but it looks like they're playing or like children playing anyway. Anyway, there's a fix for that. Let's see. Okay, back into the ninja behavior tree. We're going to add a new blackboard boolean called is dead. So it checks if the ninja is dead. And we're going to hop into our ninja BP. And then we are going to event begin play we're going to add a blackboard component add blackboard component so it's able to communicate with blackboard and make sure default blackboard as is set to ninja bb let me start typing my notes set to ninja underscore bb when you click the node code okay yep compile and then what we're gonna do is add something special called get blackboard. So we're able to communicate with the blackboard. And then set value as bool. We first wanna compile the blackboard as well, or save it at least. Let's close spikes for now. We don't need that. And detect play overlap. Kick montage, we can close that. ANS, we can close that. Back in our ninja blueprint. 
plug this into here. So this is like after the death animation, right? So uh, let's rename it into it's called commented death. Let's put this here. This one will be uh, damage to player. So C is to code, to, to code comments. So just press C on your keyboard. So at the very end of the death, set value as bool, get blackboard, and we're gonna do make literal name. And we're gonna target is dead. Wait, let's see what case I did it in. Okay, is dead. That is the case that we did. Is dead question mark. And we'll set this to true because after all of this plays and you play your death animation, is dead is gonna be true. Okay, and that should be it, I think. And then we're gonna go back to our behavior tree and we're gonna apply more blackboard conditions. Let's see. All right, so right click, add decorator blackboard. We're gonna change this to is dead, not dead, abort both. So copy this. Pretty much this means is if your ninja is not dead, it can proceed and we'll just keep adding that. If it's not, you know, just not dead, it can continue behavior tree. If your ninja is not dead, you can continue this sequence. So everything should be hooking up fine now. Theoretically, it can kick, it can damage you, keep chasing you. That ninja is still roaming. Let's head over to our spikes for a test. Die, Mr. Ninja. Cool. Dies once, doesn't follow us anymore. Nice. Now for this next ninja. Okay, now it sees us can kick us, do damage, but then it will die to the spikes. Yep. Cool. And we die to the spikes as well. Amazing. Okay. Well done for completing all of that AI. It's honestly an impressive feat. AI is quite advanced if you follow through like this far. Props to you really. Next part will be creating a HUD, then after that we'll be creating a custom environment, so that should be pretty fun. Okay.